I'm off to the movies with Carter. What, no Jesse? Oh, she's hanging with her folks that are having a family togetherness day. Family togetherness. <laughs> oh, some crazy hippie thing with them, huh? <laughs> yes, Dad. They like to spend time with one another and are therefore crazy hippies. Jesse, Jesse, Jesse. Oh, so you thought you could take me on the last turn, did you? Please, I lost you twice. Sure you did. <laughs> Where have you two been? Supposed to be buying putting soil. We did. We just stopped at the go kart track on the way back. Actually, it was on the way there. Oh no! Hope the gardening store is still open. We were supposed to spend the day gardening. Jesse and I were going to plant tulip bulbs. We'll plant them later, Mom. Dad just wanted to have a little fun. I don't need you encouraging him. You could have called. Why would we call? Go karting makes you nauseous. Do you always have to act like an overgrown teenager? I'm not a teenager. I'm Phil. <laughs> okay, look, Phil. I am all down with the carpe diem, the je ne sais quoi, and the joie de vivre. But at some point, you know, you have got to have an off switch. Sometimes you just need to just just tend your own garden. Nice. You know what? Sometimes I wish you would act your age. <laughs> Well, what do you think of their little communist utopia now? Hmm. Can we find a way that we could be together? Is there any way that we could be together? And oh, by the way, baby, do you love me? Jesse, I mean, it's not like your parents have never fought before, but I've never seen them argue like this. I don't know what to do. Three words. Stay out of it. That's four words, college dropout. I can't stay out of it. Dad was just being dad, you know? Cool. No, see, I don't get that. I mean, I've barely spoken to mine in like six years. Really? What happened? I turned 12. My dad's different. He can be pretty awesome if mom ever lets him. She kind of does, Jess. Most of the time. She can't expect him to just turn it off whenever it suits her. I'm talking to her. You, you don't want to get between a couple, unless they're twin gymnasts. <laughs> I'm not getting between anything. I'm just going to go to my mom, talk to her rationally, and tell her why she's wrong. Uh, you might want to rethink the last part, Cupcake. I know exactly what I'm doing. Hey, roommates. <laughs> I can't believe Mom actually kicked you out. I was only trying to make our case. Confronting your mom when she's upset is like throwing chum to sharks. Only you're the chum, and, and she's the shark that's eating the chum that is you. I get it. So you're gonna be crashing on the couch if that's cool? Hey, I can sleep soundly lying upside down naked on cement church stairs. In fact, I have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Seriously, this is just one night, so this totally doesn't have to be awkward. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm going to bed. Oh, okay. <laughs> You don't need to be saying the words when I walk in the door and look in your eyes. Oh. Phil. Did you just call me Phil? No, no, no. Listen. Oh, you mean Phil's in our house. <laughs> what the heck is Phil in our house? I don't know. Go get rid of him. Yeah, I'll deal with it tomorrow. We don't want all those oysters going to waste, Jimmy. Uh, doesn't it kind of bother you that Phil is up there? Mm -hmm, yeah, kind of, but let's not let this ruin the movie. Come on. I don't know. I, I just keep picturing his hairy toes and his hairy back and his hairy... I'm out. <laughs> and then you, your uncle spewed his nachos and Cuervo gold all over Tara's rosemary pie. But you blamed on the Morton's oh. Chihuahua, remember? And she totally bought it because of that stomach disease you made up. What was it again? Scorpina! I named it after one of the evil Power Rangers. I remember how much you liked those villains. There was Goldar <laughs> yep. and Repulsa and Wayne Newton. Oh, Tom's parents. We wanted to give our ears a break, so we hit it. For a second there, I thought you'd been indoctrinated. I'd rather be waterboarded with cough syrup than listen to this. Yikes. You don't have to listen to anything you don't like as long as you're here. Just be yourself. Speaking of being myself... 
Oh, Dad, no, you can't spark one in here. Relax. From down south. Cajun alligator. Extra spicy. Illicit meat products. Well played. <laughs> Morning, Phil. See you stayed over last night. In our house. Even though yours is... Well, it's right over there. Yeah, it's a little turbulence, Shea Hill. Judith, will you excuse us a second, please? Phil and I are going to have a little one-on-one -on -one guy talk, as we're prone to do. I've never seen that. Me neither. <laughs> Give it a whirl, huh? So, you're trying to destroy my love life? Not consciously. And then what the hell's going on? It's no big deal, okay? Tara got a little ticked because I took Jesse go-karting. Sometimes she doesn't get my boyish charm. <laughs> I doubt this is about your boyish charm. Sounds like it's about your daughter. Really? Mm. I suggest you tread lightly with Tara on this one. This calls for a real solution, not a half-ass fill one. Okay? <laughs> Trust me on this one, bud. It's one thing I know how to handle as women. He's staying longer? He has a slight hiccup, and by hiccup I mean an even bigger fight. I told you to stay out of it. Look, I like your dad just fine, but not as a roommate. And I told you, my dad is cool. He does Tai Chi in his backyard wearing smiley face boxes, and I'm pretty sure he's not being ironic. Hey, I bought... More leg lifts, if you know what I mean. Relax, Tom. You won't even notice that he's there. Since when are we into soy milk? Dad's lactose intolerant. What? It's just one night. And the Hindenburg was just one flight. Look, I had the afternoon off. I was gonna surprise you with homemade pizza. Really? That's so sweet. Can we postpone till tomorrow? That way you and Dad all have a chance to get to know each other better. Seen his testicles, Jess. I know him better than you think. It'll be fine. You two will get along like old frat buddies. I'm Jewish. Right. Yeah. Whoa, there goes my cell phone. I didn't hear anything. It's on vibrate. Hey. 911 in law in the attic. I need you to drop everything you're doing and get over here. Don't you mean who I'm doing? I'm kidding. I'm serious, Carter. Okay, just relax. Where are you? I'm on the fire escape. I can't go back in there. It's too weird. How weird? Worse than the time your mom dated your chemistry and your biology teacher at the same time. Okay, just listen. Don't make prolonged eye contact, okay? Find a mutual distraction, like a computer or a radio. Just make small talk. I can't make small talk. I, I talk about sex when I get nervous. What? That's stupid, man. Just watch. Hey, Tom, how's the weather? Naked. Oh, I'll be right there. They're called silent destruction, huh? Making Nine Inch Nails sound like a bunch of thumbtacks. Ha ha! And check this out. You haven't done the deed until you've done it. Dude! Dude! What the hell are you doing? You're welcome. Did your father forget his whoopee cover? Robin Williams. Dad's totally fun, and you should take him back. Not without an apology. He already apologized. Yeah, you know what he said? He didn't say, sorry, I screwed up. He said, I'm sorry, you're mad. Well, maybe you're the one who should be apologizing. Did you ever think about that? <laughs> I'll just go. Dude, you were supposed to help me deal with my father on the with a little early Sabbath thrown in. Went back to the garage, picked up some real tunage. I'm so sorry, this, this wasn't my idea. I'm disappointed in you, young Tom Walker. Here, I thought you were the brains behind the operation. See, in my day, it was get rid of the old guys so we could steal his booze, but you guys are all like, get rid of the old guys so we could play Xbox. Same basic idea, but lamer. You knew? As obvious as your cologne. It's body spray. So, could we not mention this to Jesse? If you want me to zip it, you're gonna have to let the old man play in the sandbox. Well, in this case, the Xbox. You ever play Grand Theft? Four or five. Five's not out yet? I know people. Phil! 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 Yes. Phil! 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 I knew you guys would get along. 
long. Yeah, you're just in time. Your dad so far has killed 83 people. Oh, cool. Dad, can you scooch over? Yeah, just a sec, Jess. Oh, 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 the cops oh, Any more jerky? <laughs> yeah, sorry, no. I'm... Yeah! Well, I guess I'll just go to bed and study. <laughs> cool. So this is your idea of getting things done? Relax, dude. You said this calls for a real solution? These things take time. You talking about your relationship or finishing Grand Theft Auto? In this case, Grand Theft Auto, but the other thing too. I am taking this very seriously. Very seriously. Oh, got the beer bong. <laughs> Touch up some putty, it'll be good as new. Yeah, your old man's got a cover. Hooked us up with some paint. Next up, they didn't have Dreamweaver Gray, so I got white and mixed it with a Sharpie. You know, I spent a long time arranging all this furniture. Yeah, I kind of felt bad about that. But then your dad reminded me that you like to change it up. Tom, I thought you were going to make that pizza. Oh, can we go to until tomorrow? Your dad's going to take us to Big Willie's. Home of the 72-ounce porterhouse. Yeah. Finish it, it's free. Dude, you're never going to finish it. Who cares? It's free. Oh, no, for the last time... Never mind. But the whole point is that we were going to stay in tonight, you know, alone. But it's going to be so much fun. I just wish you would have asked for Staying another night? That's not a problem, is it, kiddo? No! Got your text. What's up? I can't live this way. He's taken over. You're right, Ava. I've created a monster. A dadster. A mon's dad. A mon... It's not working, dollface. The point is, you gotta help me. I want him out. Sarcasm. Isn't that what you use to keep your dad out of your life? Honey, my daddy issues run deeper than the Grand Canyon. Sarcasm is just an hors d'oeuvre. Well, how would you handle this? I'd expose his insecurity, pump him full of hope, and then machine gun him limp with laser sharp barbs. Yes! To the barb part. And the lasers, whatever gets rid of dad. No, see, that's what I do. But you like your dad. You don't use a wrecking ball to hammer a nail. Well, at least give me something. A, a tidbit, a scheme, a... The enemy of your enemy is your friend. Flowers? Jesse, how thoughtful. I just figured having my dad upstairs must be pretty hard, so I wanted to do something as a thank you. Hmm. Well, what's the deal with these? Is he allergic? No. So how do they get rid of him? They don't. Well, how much of a thank you is it? Ben. Oh... You guys still want my dad here? Are you new? What would possibly make you think that we enjoy having that man living upstairs? I just assume that's why you haven't been playing any Wayne Newton. Well, we're not following. My dad hates Wayne Newton. Well, I've actually been missing my Wayne Newton for weeks. Must have got mixed up in the laundry. I'm late for class. Ciao. Okay, boys. the hell is that? Make the Wayne stop. I'll take care of this. Oh, hey, Phil! It's not too loud. No. No, not too loud at all. Hey, Mom. Is that back yet? Why would he be back? I don't know. I just figured he might be getting a little tired of me. Oh, you sure? That's not the other way around. No, no. Dad's fun. Always has been. <laughs> that's right, sweetie. At least that's what Ben and Judith seem to think. Oh, no. Close the window, Jess. It's too bright. Queens. Read them and weep, ladies and gentlemen. This part is mine. Sorry, Phil. Whoa. Look at you with American Airlines. Nicely played, Judith. Anyone for a drink? What's going on? Oh, we're playing Texas Hold'em. Grab a chair. And what's with the Wayne Newton? Oh, actually, he was pretty well with poker. Yeah, it's got a real, um... How'd you put it again, Phil? Retro kitsch factor. And you're okay with this? You know how much we love our Vegas. Absolutely. Any friend of Mr. Newton's a friend of ours. Crank it. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, crack shit. Ava, it's 
me. Deploy the wrecking ball. Yeah, you better not be one of those quit while you're ahead, fellas. I hope not. We have one more joining us. Please let me love you like I once loved you. Nice tunes. I didn't know Elvis and Robert Goulet had a love child. I think the Marilyn Manson tea didn't know the 90s were back. Everyone, you know Ava. Please go easy on her. She's new to poker. Oh, just watch us. You might pick up a thing or two, huh? <laughs> Just watch us. You might pick up a thing or two. Shut up, Tom. I'll see the middle-aged white guy and raise him ten. I'll see the over-caffeinated Betty Page wannabe and raise her ten. Oh, I didn't know midlife crisis could start so late in the game. See your ten, raise you twenty. Ava, what's with the dude? I can handle this. I know you're not supposed to raise your hand to a child, but I raise you 20. Your humor runs the gamut from A to B. Raise you 50. All in. Ow! Full house. Straight. <laughs> well, I guess we're done here. That was incredible. I'm not done yet. Come on. <sighs> now this next part could get ugly. If you don't want to see your father cry, I suggest you scatter. Okay, meet me at the veg when you're done. <laughs> We're so gonna celebrate. <laughs> Alright, listen up, Tubbs. What I'm about to say may hurt, so... You're good with words. Excuse me? Back there on the table, I dug the repartee, like battling wits with Dorothy Parker. Really? Really? You ever thought of being a writer? Yeah, my, my dad used to say the same thing. Your dad's a wise man. I gotta go to the hardware store. Um, mind if I tag along? I need a gorilla glue. What'd you do? Pack his bags for him too? Oh, he's not leaving. What? He's not ready yet, Jesse. And a man like that shouldn't be pushed. He's very complex. Oh my god, you have a crack. Intoxicating mixture of wood chips and pear soap. I might vomit. But for the record, know that I would never, ever act on it. Good. Now. Well, he's still with your mom. How's that going, anyway? You! Coming in here with your music and your charm and your pear soap. How dare you take away my friends and turn my life upside down? Just being myself, isn't that what you want? What I want is for you to act your age. Wow. You really sound like your mother. <sighs> you said you won't take Dad back without an apology. I think that apology should come from me. If you were right about Dad, how do you do it? <sighs> I don't exactly know. I, all I know is it's harder to live without him than it is with him. I'm sorry, I never should have come between you guys. For what it's worth, I guess I just, I kind of overreacted. Maybe I was jealous. Of what? Come on, Jess, I see the way that you two are both sticking up for each other all the time. I mean, like the time that your uncle puked in my rosemary bush and you blamed it on that mutt. You knew about that? Come on, Chihuahuas don't eject three times their own body weight. Then why didn't you call us on it? Because I love what the two of you have. But if you're going to use a Power Ranger as a stomach ailment, make sure it's not one that's on a poster in your bedroom. You know, Dad's fun. He's Phil. But you're my mom. Hey. Don't tell your father I know about the puking incident, okay? You know how he loves to play the rebel. You know, it's funny. We never would have had this talk without Dad, so in his own bumbling way, this was his doing. I think he has no idea. <laughs> so should we, like, hug it out or something? All right, here. Plants. Okay. That's right, baby. I'm Phil. <laughs> you forgive me? Only if you can, the way Newton. It's kind of growing on me. <laughs> you. 
A little something I picked up on my travels? Dig it. You naughty boy. <laughs> oh, indeed I am. <laughs> Something's not working. Oh, it's working. No, the music. You're right. Silent destruction is so one sentence ago. Retro's the way, baby. <laughs> <laughs>